Hey guys, I am in the kitchen with Haley, and she's making something pretty cool, so let's check it out. Hey Haley. Hi. How's it going? It's going. <laughs> okay, what are you making here? Okay, so I'm making, um, I made homemade pesto yesterday. My basil plant was starting to look a little wilty with the cold coming. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, he was used because he was too wilty. Oh, so he's gone now. He's gone, yeah. I, I used the rest of it. Sad, but he's gone to a better place. Yes, Your our bowl. stomachs to be soon. So, um, yeah, I made a yummy pesto, and then um, I chopped up one of your nice tomatoes that you bought today. Sweet. And my avocado that's been ripening for a few days. Actually, we already ate that avocado, and that one was a new one. Oh, okay. Well, it was ripe, too. It was ripening for one day. Okay. <laughs> so, um, mixed it all together, and then I sliced up some zook to make some zook crackers. Sweet. And I usually just take a, a tiny bit of the pesto, mm -hmm. make a little bed along the cracker, and then I take a, a little avocado, and then a little um, tomato, which is nice and red. Sweet. So you've got the vegetables mixed up with pesto, and then you've got pesto on the zucchini cracker as well. That's right. No... Pesto-rific! No, no absence of pesto here. <laughs> Why don't we say how to make the pesto? Okay. Okay. She had the basil and walnuts. I used walnuts because um, I'm a student and I'm poor, so I really can't afford pine nuts, although they're a lot cheaper here in Europe than they are back in Canada. Um, so I, I use walnuts and um, some fresh lemon juice, salt, pepper, little um, extra virgin olive oil. And I can't really talk about ratios or measurements because I just tend to... Yeah, the thing with pesto is it's more about going with how it comes out. Yeah, yeah. And not necessarily exact measurements. So just show the consistency of what you wound up with. Yeah, so... That's what you're looking for. Yeah, a little, sometimes I do it a little thicker if I'm going to use it for sandwiches. Or mm -hmm. um, a little thinner if I'm going to do it for a, for a sauce, um, yeah, for a stir-fry or something. And then the seasoning really goes by taste. Yeah, definitely. Um, and when I made it, I had a cold and I couldn't <laughs> smell or taste, so I'll leave it to you guys to try. But one, one tip that um, Nona taught me when I was living in Italy was that um, when you're picking basil fresh out of the garden, take a bowl, fill it with cold water, and um, put the leaves in the, the cold water just for like 30 minutes or an hour, something like that. And it really cuts the, the kind of bitterness that can be in basil, different kinds of basil, but it still keeps the flavor really nicely. And um, I find sometimes when I'm using um, fresh basil that out of my garden that it, it does have, it does kind of dominate the pesto, whereas you want to mix it in with the garlic and the lemon. And so since she taught me that, it's made my pesto awesome. Mm, all right. So, so give one a try there. See how it tastes. Um, can you try? Because I can't taste. Yeah, sure. Here, switch. And the verdict is? So good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The, the zucchini is a nice um, alternative to using like a cracker because then you get a nice fresh raw veggie. And I find for me, I don't know about you guys, but um, I don't eat zucchini raw very much. I usually stir fry mm -hmm. it or warm it a little bit, but zucchini is actually really good raw. I think it depends on the zucchini. Sometimes yeah. I get them and they're very... Um, they feel starchy. Even starchy, yeah. Zucchini is not really a yeah. starchy vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. If they're raw, they can they can taste that way. But this one's really nice. A friend of mine here taught me to just slice them, like, on may I? <laughs> yeah, on a slant so it gets nice and big, and then I'll give that to you. And then just put some salt and pepper on it and just eat them like that, and it's mm -hmm. so good, really good. Salt really helps to soften raw vegetables, yeah. so I could see that being really helpful. Cool, cool. Well, well thanks for showing us your appetizer. We're going to go uh, eat a whole bunch of them. Cool.